Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And you remember the last time we met, I was showing you my favorite Super Bowl recipe was the banana pudding because I was tying it into photography. Because if the weather's bad, sometimes you just have to look around your house to see what you can, can photograph, you know, keep your skills up and keep your spirits up. But guess what? The weather's still bad, so now we're still back in the kitchen, but this is going to be a little bit different. All you need is a, well, what, what I'm using is a mixer and some water, some water with fruit, food coloring, or in my case, some uh, fruit, fruit juicy red drink, a little eye droplet, and a flash. We're going to take video at normal speed, then we're going to show you what it looks like in, in slow motion, then we're going to show you what it looks like, at least as far as the water drops, when we freeze some water drops using our flash. And with that being said, I'll see you on the other side of this kitchen photography. Trip. Pouring water into a blender and turning it on. So what? Doing it in slow motion and the water becomes live. You can touch your screen and feel how wet it is. Do not believe me? Try it. Using the flash, we can turn the water into frozen crystal bubbles. Let's take a side by side view. The water on the left. Just normal water in a blender. But on the right, through the magic of slow mo, the water becomes alive and it draws you in and you just want to dive in. Add a flash and the magic of water dances in the air. It started from photographing through the side of the blender. In slow motion, just adding red drink drops to the water can be interesting. Now, through the magic of flash photography. It is time to enjoy the different patterns and shapes formed by the water drops. Well, what do you think about my photography slash kitchen exercise? And if you inside can't get up because of the weather, look around your kitchen or in your refrigerator, see what you can pull out and see what you can create. Because you never know, the same skills you learn now about force freezing the water drops, the slow motion and all that, when the weather gets bad, it gets better, correction, you can take that outside. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. If you like what you see, Leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, it's fine to leave a, leave, leave a thumbs down, but just tell me why you don't like it, because that will motivate me to go out and do more videos so you like them next time. Because you know I say it all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And again, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this kitchen slash photography exercise. And I will see you next time.